going on ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between my name is Darku and today we're going to be implementing HP and stamina bars and regen also for those bars uh, by watching this you'll also know how to like add mana bars etc as well anyways we're going to jump straight into it so as you can see we have made a new project here called YouTube Tuts as this is what we're going to be doing now apparently and uh, it's a brand new third person character uh, default mode where it just gives you the third person you're able to walk around etc and we're going to be going over now how to implement the health and stamina bars into this uh, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, also if this isn't here do this you can just click on your content drawer bottom left and we can also dock it in layout like so that's what I like to do anyway you don't have to do that yourself that's what I like to do uh, we're going to go to third person blueprints and first thing we're going to do is implement the health and the stamina first so we can then you make the UI for it. So we're going to go into our third person character to store the information. And whilst we're in here, we're going to create a couple of variables at the bottom left. I'm going to click plus and we're going to go health. And we're going to make another one and call it stamina. Uh, you can add other stuff, like I said, such as mana, if that's what you really want. And we're going to change the uh, variable themselves to float, not boolean. Boolean is like a solid number, float is a variable number. And then we're going to compile and save. Now we can come straight out of here because we don't need to mess with that right this second. Uh, what we do need to do now though is we're going to right click, we're going to user interface, widget blueprint, and we're going to go yes, we would use a blueprint thing. Uh, we're going to call this the HUD. Literally just HUD, not the HUD, sorry. Uh, we're going to open this up and uh, we're going to type in canvas panel we're going to grab, our, grab ourselves a canvas panel so that we can see this is what everyone will see on their screens and for now we are going to drag ourselves a progress bar onto our screen here we're going to name this program uh, pro uh, let me just try and speak english here progress bar we're going to call this the health underscore <laughs> Bar. Now you don't have to name it that, it's not specific, I just like to have underscores because you're not allowed spaces without causing problems in Unreal to be fair. We're going to drag this down a bit and we're just going to stretch this out. And we're going to do the same thing again, progress bar, and we're going to call this one stamina bar underscore bar. Stamina underscore bar, we're going to move this over and snap it as well. We're going to drag this out as well, like so. So now we're going to go back to our health bar at the top. I'm going to click on this fill color and opacity. I'm going to go to a nice juicy red for health. Don't worry if you can't see it. We are going to change this percentage here to 1. Uh, underneath, we're going to click on our stamina bar. I'm going to make this a nice yellowy orange color. And we're going to change the percentage to 1 as well. You can see the color. And as I said, this is the canvas panel, so you can see what the user would see when they're playing the game. You can see our health and stamina bar there. This isn't going to work immediately. Don't worry about that. We're just going to quickly compile, save. Uh, we're going to click on our health bar here, and we're on the right-hand side underneath progress. We're going to click bind, and we're going to create a binding. On this binding, we are going to drag this out a little bit. We're going to drag off of this, and we're going to cast to third person character like so and off the object we're going to get um third oh get get player character <laughs> get player character sorry i'm not thinking straight get player character that's what we want we're going to put this here actually nice and neat as i do like to do that and then off of the this uh third person character we're going to get health now we're going to link this up to the return value, as you can see. Nice and neat like so. We're going to compile and save, and we're going to do the exact same thing for our stamina bar. I did not mean to come out of it. Let's go back into our HUD. Stamina bar, bind, create a binding, and on this one we're going to do the same thing. So as, as per usual, we're going to cast to third person character, like so. And we're going to get player character if I can spell 
I don't know why I keep it at the top like so, and then we're going to get stamina. And we're going to link that up to the return value as well. And make that nice and neat as well. Yeah, I think so. Compile, save. Now if we exit out of the uh, HUD blueprint, you'll notice that we still don't have the actual HUD popping up or anything like that. That's because we need to implement a few more things. So do not panic. All right, so now that we're in here, we can go to our third person character blueprint. And as you can see, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> and we're going to click on the event begin players. It's already doing something. And if you try and drag this off to do something else, it will disconnect. So we're going to go onto this and click uh, sequence. That's what we're going to be looking for is a sequence. We're going to move this to the top above um, so that obviously you can keep this going, but also add something else. I'm going to break that link there just so it looks more tidier, I guess, because I don't want to mess with the original mapping. Um, but yeah, this is, <laughs> this is how we're going to go about doing it. Um, and then we want off of this one, then we want to create a widget. So create widget, we're going to click on this and go HUD. So if you've done this correctly up to this point and you've just created widget and you click on the one, what you've called HUD, uh, let's just remind you all that mine was called HUD just down here, as you can see. If I called mine HUD, that's what mine is called there. And then we're going to um, add viewport. Oops. Add to viewport, sorry. Add to viewport. And we're going to also get our return value here as well, like so. Then we're going to compile and save. And we can close that now. And then you will see our health bar and our stamina bar on the screen. As you can see, there is no color to them yet. And there is no regen to them yet, as we are just about to implement that in. However, now both bars are on the screen. Or however you want to design yours, that's perfectly fine. But for the basics, they are both on the screen now, and now we're going to add the actual health limits to it and the proper regen. All right, so let's get started. If we go back into our third person character, BP, you'll find that our health floater here is at zero. So if we put that to one and our stamina to one and then compile, save. This is the very, very basic. Now you can notice that we do have our health put on one, which is our original value, and our stamina is on one as well. So you can notice there is actual color to it. So that's the basic starts of it. And now we're gonna go over the health regen and what to do if your health is below zero, uh, below one, etc. cetera. Um, if we go to our main BP again, our main character, uh, third person character BP, we're gonna put our health, um, oh gosh, if I can click on it, 0.5. And that was stamina to 0 0.5. And then we're going to compile again and save. And if I just quickly press play to show you, it'll show us like we've got half health, half stamina. And that's how that works. There is no regen yet as we're about to add that in. If we go into our uh, third person character once more. Uh, so we're in our BP. We can leave this, by the way. This is literally just to add that um, viewport. If we go way underneath now. And we are going to start like a complete new event. So we're going to go to event, tick, oops, as we want our stuff to regen. So we're going to go event tick. We're going to change this into a sequence, sequence, because it's not going to go to just one thing. It's going to go to multiple things. We put this like here and sequence like here for now. Um, so what we're going to do is a bit of health re regen. So we're going to go to another variable. We're going to go health uh, regen. And we're going to change that to a float. And we're going to have also, uh, what else we're going to need? A uh, health rate. So we're going to go health rate, which is also a float. And we're going to do the same thing. Stamina uh, regen. And... I'm in the rate. And you'll know why we'll do this a little bit later. It's not that important right the second to do the stamina, but obviously it's nice to just sort of get it over and done with. This sequence, obviously we're going to have a tick of like HP and stamina regen. So we want a sequence and then we want a slight delay on it. So we're going to make a delay. The duration, we're going to base on the health rate. So if we can grab the health rate and drag it in, get health rate. Like so, we don't have to have it so close. Apologies, I'll just drag this out a bit. There we go. Health rate could be our duration here. Health rate, you can um, change this a little bit later. If we click compile now, health rate will change to like two. 
uh, obviously this is always changeable you can do your own numbers we're just going to put it to two for now um, and then we're going to so we want our health rate to go up and stuff so we're going to go to a branch because we want to test some stuff so when doing this we're going to a branch and then condition now the old ones you used to have to go to flow less than blah 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 but unreal engine 5 you literally just do less than the sign um, which is the arrow pointing left so less than and you're going to go from here you're going to grab your health and you're going to get get health so get health link it up and if it's less than one so that's the condition for this one we're just going to drag this out to make it a little, little bit more cleaner like so um and then if this health so we're going to set this we're going to oh, sorry grab health set health like so uh so if true like this we're going to go to uh plus we're going to type in a plus here so we can add and uh, this is also different it used to be a float plus plus um plus itself essentially and uh, we're going to go to health right here get health and we're just going to plug this in and then we're going to health we need health regen we're going to get get health regen move that next to it and plug that in also health regen we're going to put to like 0 0.01 i think that's how how much you want to regen just to clarify health rate is how much it happens health regen is how much you're regening actually we're going to put it to like 0 0.1 just to really show off how it goes when this is done you don't want your health to go over the one or 100 essentially so we're going to branch off again branch like so um then we're going to grab health and we're going to set it so set health we're going to say one and we're going to link that up to true there like so uh, and the condition will be more than so we're going to do a more than sign or greater than sign and then when we do that we're going to grab our health again literally grab health i'm just going to drag that in grab health i'm going to put this under here just to make it clean i think um so we're going to and then we're going to put this to one as well oops not 10 my apologies i'm going to do one thank you very much just make sure that one's one as well yeah okay obviously if our health is lower than one we can activate how if it is lower than like for example the delay so this is our branch to test if our health is le lower than one and if it is true it'll go to this and it'll do our health plus health regen um and then we obviously test another branch which is is our health more than one if that is true set health and we're going to put it to one i'm glad i went over this again um if it is not then it can go up to one but if it is then Go like that we're just going to keep that like so so it's nice and clean nothing too nothing too crazy per se and we're just gonna do we can uh grab all of this and hit c which will do a comment we're going to call this health region yeah that's it i i, I said it as if i was going to say something else but no just health region is all it is uh sequence we're going to drag oops control z to undo what i just did we're going to grab these two and just move them to like the middle ground i'd say like so because we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to quickly com click compile and save now we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing for the stamina uh, just remember you, stamina and health don't have to be the same but i'm just going to quickly check so my health regen is on 0 0.1 health is on 2 the health rate sorry uh so we're going to do the same thing for the stamina uh that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to go to then one on our event tick we're going to do delay again we're pretty much going to copy and paste uh what we have above if we click on that one i don't like the way those wires are like that let's move that down it bothers me so much that the white wire is through that um so we're going to go to delay here and then we're going to go to oops uh, if we go to stam rate get stam rate like so uh, plug that in stam rate we're going to make two as well oops we're going to make two the same as the health rate again it doesn't have to be in depending on your game or whatever you're doing you don't have to have it like that it's just like that so we're going to uh, branch off and uh, we need to check if our so the condition is we're checking if the stamina is less 
sorry, you can't see because of the thing. Less than the check. Um, and then we're checking our stamina. So we're going to grab stam, get stam. We're going to check if our stamina here is less than one. And if that is true, we set stamina. Let's grab this set stamina. If that is true, we can drag this out a bit, pro preferably the same as that. Um, and we're going to drag this off and plus, like so, or add, I guess it likes to call itself. And we're going to go stamina, get stamina. We're going to plug that into the top and we're going to get stamina uh, regen. And we're going to get stamina regen. We're just going to plug that underneath as well like so and obviously if that's plus, plus the sort of health regen is like that and then if that happens we need to branch off again one more time um, and the condition is if it is more than or greater than um, we're gonna oh, not health sorry stamina so we're gonna grab stamina one more time so if the stamina is greater than one uh, and if that is true, we want to uh, what's it? grab our stamina, but we're going to set stamina. I keep saying grab. I don't mean grab and then click grab. I mean, like, just grab it off the left. Apologies. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to set this to true there. And then that is your stamina done as well. Have we got the stamina regen the same? Regen. So stamina regen, we'll put 0 0.1. So I think that's what we are. Health regen is that, right? Yeah, 0 0.1. So as you can see, it's literally the same thing for health and stamina. You can change the numbers because personally when I'm playing games, I feel like stamina regen is a lot faster than health regen. So you could change the numbers with your stamina rate and your um, stamina regen. You could mess with the numbers yourself. And we're just going to quickly go over these and press C again. We're going to call this stamina regen. So that's our comment. So we can just box it like that and it's all nice and neat. I'm gonna resize because that does bother me. There we go. So that is our stamina and health regen. We're gonna compile and save and watch our magic work. I'm gonna press play, and as you can see, it is now health and stamina is now going up. Very nice, very nice. Uh in two second intervals, if I remember correctly, what we clicked on. If we go back to our character BP and we change our, like I said, stamina goes faster. So we've changed this to like 0 0.1, for example, and we compile and save. This is obviously different than the health now. So we press play. Look how quick that stamina goes up. Um, I see that we've done something wrong with the stamina rate. Uh, da, 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 stamina regen set if more than set. oh here we go so here's what we've done wrong apologies this is why we test things obviously we want to make sure that if our stamina is over one we want to just to make it one and not zero compile save come out and press play one more time and as you can see when the stamina is fully regen it will now stay 100 and not go back down to zero and go over and over again so there you go, ladies and gents, that is the very basic health and stamina bars plus the regen of how it works. Like I said, you can add mana as well, just do the exact same thing. Add an extra HUD bar, you know, all the things that we have done, make sure you just do it again for a mana bar. Uh, hopefully I'll make more tutorials in the future. This one was not that much effort, but like trying to remember different things whilst I'm learning myself. It's very cool and stuff, but uh, it can be kind of complicated. Trying to make your game and also make tutorials for other people. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped. Um, I guess don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, whatever you need help with, or if you need help with anything. I hope this did help you guys, and I'll see you on another one. See ya!